Hello everyone, it's Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. Um, just going to do a quick little video uh, tonight. Uh, it's not a roundup, it's not a match preview. Uh, it's more to do with the Charlie Austin story that broke today uh, concerning David Sullivan and his statement that he released. Um, I'm just, yeah, just going to give you my thoughts on this. I mean, first of all, listen, I've always backed Golden Sullivan. Got no problems with them. I think what they've done for West Ham is unbelievable. Uh, when they picked up the club to where we are now. They've done, they've done a great job with the stadium coming up, the signings we're bringing in. But one thing I will say is that I was very, very disappointed with David Sullivan's statement today about Charlie Austin. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to start, really. I mean, I really feel sorry for Charlie Austin. I mean, for David Sullivan to come out and say that he's got no ligaments in his knee... Uh, he's not. He wouldn't last a season. He could break down at any moment. I mean, listen. If we if we don't want to sign him, don't sign him. Don't start coming out in the press and saying things about Charlie Austin that could damage his career, really. Because now other clubs that might have been interested might think, well, hang on a minute. If West Ham ain't going for him, if it's true about his ligaments, his knee, and all the injuries, we ain't gonna go for him. So I, I feel really. I feel really disappointed in David Sullivan with his statement to not, uh, that he came out with earlier. I mean, Charlie Austin's a great player. I've backed him 110%. You know, I'd love to see him at West Ham. I think he, I, I think he can offer the West Ham a lot. Uh, reactions I've seen on Twitter through this, most people are the same. They would love to have seen Charlie Austin at West Ham. No, don't like no chance we're going to get him now, which is a shame. I think David Sullivan's sort of covering himself a bit. You know, if we can't afford him, don't don't buy him. Go and get someone cheaper. Don't don't come out with stupid remarks like that. If it is true, then why 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 come out and say it? You know, there's no there's no need to say it. If, so yeah, I mean Charlie Austin's obviously hit back with a statement tonight, which I'm I'm glad he's done really. I mean, I'm just reading him through it. Now, I heard it earlier, but yeah, he basically goes on about that he's he's fit. He can play. He played the other night. He scored. Uh, he's doing well for QPR. He's, he's, he's saying that he's training. It don't affect his thing. He scored 18 goals last season. Um, and another thing that David Sullivan said was he's not worth the 15 million because he didn't save QPR. Well, there's 11 players on the pitch, not not one. You know, he, he done his best for QPR. The other... 10 players or a few other players let him down last season. It's not Charlie Austin's fault that QPR went down. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, listen, this is not a a, a, a dig at David Sullivan. Well, I suppose in a way it is for what he's come out with. But like I said, I've always backed the owners, Gold, Sullivan, Brady. I think they do a good job. But with this, I just, just can't agree with him on. You know, I think it's... I've seen a few ex-players tweeting about it, and it's put our name back in there as well. You know, everyone seems to be against West Ham lately. With, I mean, all the petition that's going round about the stadium, and now David Sullivan's come out and said this. It's just, it's just putting our name in a bad press once again. So, I mean, leave leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you agree with David Sullivan, if you disagree with him, if you feel for Charlie Austin, if you. Couldn't give two shits, you know. Just um, leave your comments below. I mean, like I said, it was only going to be a quick little video just to see like, my reaction. I'm sure you'll see the rest of the boys' reaction on post-match pint when we do it at the weekend. Uh, we're obviously bringing this up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll leave it there. Like I said, it was only a quick little video. So um, yeah, leave your comments below. And yeah, that's it really. I ain't got really much more to say. But uh, see you all down the bowling on Saturday against Bournemouth. Hopefully we can bounce back with a win. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. I'll leave it there. So I'm Ryan at West Ham Fan TV. See you on Saturday. Come on your irons.